Hi everyone, it is me, Sailor Mars here, uh, Ray here, Sailor Red World here, and today we are going out to the Vinlander Frith Metal, Giant Eagle, and all these. And this time I choosing to have it crop today. At least that's what it's going to be like if I film like this today. So, anyway. That's where we're going out today. And it seems to be, <clears throat> well, a good day so far. You know, hopefully we might have not much run and lead over what happens, but how you deal with it, your mindset, your stand, your feelings, and your mood. The only thing you do have run and lead over it. That's it. We're good now. And some we say, well, why have, why you don't choose to film like this and you film the other way? I don't know, because sometimes when you film this way, it puts uh, two squares or something over your film, like it crops your film or something. So that's why I don't do it all the time. I just chose to do it today, you know, do something non-like. So, yeah, that's where we're... And if I do it this way, at least I can hold myself up. Instead, you know, hold the wet shoe, the, hold the wise speaker up instead, you know, so you're standing up. Though. Depends what my mood is. So I guess... I, Gets my one hand out. <clears throat> so yeah, that's where we're going to today. Fridays are mostly the outing days. Some other days are, but mostly Friday is. Every every once in a while, it might be Saturday or Sunday, but mostly it's Friday. Unless it's Wednesday, unless there's something we have to get at Sam's Club. But most of the time, it's Fridays. But that wasn't always true. In the past, Saturday or Star Day was the was the outing day in the past. So yeah, you can see some of the road <coughs> that we're on right now. You know. And someone might say, oh well, you got to worry about ownership and double ride over the road over the street no I don't think just gotta worry about getting folks in the film that want to be in there which if folks drive so fast reading they'd be reading their their deal sheet would turn shift to a blur <laughs> if you hear there was a dog over there barking or something you know, yes, and we got out earlier, most of the time it will start out that I'm ready to go, but then the other two will have to get ready, and then you have to yell for absurd, well, or free death, what's it mean when it says stop here on red? Just as that, you, when you stop, when the red light's red, you're supposed to stop here. Mm -hmm. Because people turn in the bend, they need room to come over. Right, right. They come into the other lane. When yeah. They turn, so other side, that yes. That gives them a space to turn. Yeah, the enough room to do what they got to do. Yes. As you can know, this road that we are on is 25 and under. So it means you can go at least 25 a little past that, because not everyone can be right on it, but as long as you're somewhere between 25 and 29, it tends to be all right. 
Uh, then what do I know? I'm just just saying what I heard. Yes. So we're going to the Vinlander Frith Middle. There is no the in its name. I thought there was a the in its name. It never had a the in its name. Well, it is what it is, I guess. And then Giant Eagle or Ethelin, Ethelus Bird. The McKeesport Stead, McKeesport Stead near one. Which is big up until you get the yield out of the row. And then that's when it gets all small there. And then all these. So that's all the steads we're going to today. And here's the asking thing that you might ask. Why don't I make three films going to those steads? Well, if I make three films, then those would be three films I'd have to upload. Three films I'd have to yield for the filet and become playable. And then three films to write something on. That's why I only make, like, one film. So... And, uh, some folks said, well, did you ever film inside somewhere? One time. One time, Sailor Pluto or, or Sailor Underworld or Tissa one time had to. One time filmed in there. It's kept the shooter down so they weren't getting any hirelings or shoppings. But that was a one-off. You know. But most of the time, it's just filming the out and going there. And over here is a pizza shop or flatbread hall known as the Italy's Trump Pizza or Italy's Trump Flatbread, which we never got anything from. We get flyers from them from time to time. And they got someone that looks like Mario Luigi a little or someone. It looks like, I don't know, BRD or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's the Italis Trump flatbread. Yeah. Yes. So we're almost there. Got some stop writings. And some folks want to take a bid on which they think which near has the most stop ridings. Glassport Borough would have more and more near would have more stop ridings. And I the only ground so I think they did that because they thought it'd be more cheaper to do that than put a whole bunch of lights everywhere. But then again, I was most likely either the gathering or the right group, the shears call on that, I guess. Yeah. I wouldn't know. So as you know, folks, this is what we do. And this time I did, I am giving some things away. Some other one horn squeeze dolls away. And I'll start doing that each time until I uh, fully get them, well, not all of them, but at least a lot of them gone to. Yes. So I go, I <clears throat> give those away. And everybody's like, well, so are you going to do films like this all the time? What, me when I'm having a crump? No, it depends on the mood is. You know, every once in a while. Now we... Yeah, we already went from Port Borough near to McKeesport Stead near to and to uh, Will to um, 
West Mifflin Borough near. Yes. The Vinlander Frith Middle has always ran out from them for years. They may have shifted where in West Mifflin Borough that they worked from, but they were always were steaded in it. Unlike other businesses or goodwill arms of businesses <laughs> like the Red, Rod, and Blue Frith Shop that was ran by the St. Vincent of Paul, they used to how they used to be in West Mifflin Borough before they ended up going to Pittsburgh Stead near, or we should really say Holstead near, because Pitt's more of a French as borrower. But then again, Pittsburgh Stead near was named after William Pitt the Elder, I believe, who was the first wicker of the Four One Kingdom at the time. Folks are like, well, why aren't there anything? Yeah, well. Give or take, you're lucky for that. Give or take. They probably wanted to name something. Someone wanted to name something after, you know, Rockerford North. The first wicker to 4 1 Kingdom when the Uprising War started. They said, nah, I don't want to name off of him. He was the ones we had binds with. Well, and with Mifflin. Borough near and Mifflin Township near both got named after Thomas Mifflin, who became the first Reich leader of Pennsylvania Reich when they shifted the setup from being a forest setter of Pennsylvania Reich to the Reich leader of Pennsylvania Reich. I didn't know that until I, uh, well, I knew that Thomas Mifflin was the first Reich leader of Pennsylvania Reich, but I didn't know that West Mifflin Borough near. And Mifflin Township near were named after him, though. Busy today, evidently. Yep. Probably 50% off. Yeah. I would think so. All right, see you all later, everyone.